this module of the Windows 11 tutorial, I'm going to go over some of the features of Windows Explorer and Windows File Management. Some of those concepts may be very basic to you, but are very key in understanding how the operating system works and how to use Windows 11 effectively in the workplace. Think of File Explorer as a mechanism to access the files that you have created in your computer or the files from the various applications in your computer. To access uh, File Explorer, click here on the taskbar File Explorer. At the top you have uh, some of the common functions such as copy paste and so on. Notice that those icons uh, look slightly different here. Then you have the view options whether you want to view the items in, as a list or whether you want to view them in large icons and so on and then you have additional settings here under this configuration option on the top right. By default it will open at quick access. Quick access is basically going to give you the recent files and folders that you have accessed most recently. On the far right you can uh, search for whatever is being displayed here in this bottom area. Below quick access we have a desktop option. Desktop it's simply going to display any of the items or folders that we had created or added to the desktop. So if we create a folder, a file or a folder in there on the desktop, that's where those icons or those items will show up. Downloads will be stuff that we have downloaded from the web uh, from the various browsers. Documents, this will be work documents that are stored in your computer. Now it's important for you to understand that pictures or documents and so on, those are components as part of your Windows account or Windows profile. Now if you have multiple users log into your computer, each user would have their own separate desktop, separate documents area, separate pictures area. And the way you find that is by going here under this PC, and then if you go under the C drive, typically it's a C drive where the files are stored, and you go under Users, then here is where you can see all the different users in this particular computer. So if I go here under the, this account, notice I have Desktop, I have Documents, I have Downloads, and these are the exact replica of what's being displayed here on the left-hand side. So these are actually on the left-hand side, are just a shortcut to what we see here on the right hand side. You can use this also for backing up files on a flash drive or external drive or however you want to do the backup stuff or to just copy that content of the files. The key concepts here is these quick links on the left, how they map to the file stored on the PC. If you go here to this PC, it's gonna display the drives that exist on this PC but also, if you are working on a network, you'd see also the network drive. And those uh, network drives typically will be mapped like uh, in the particular letters like uh, F or K or J or M drive, or it depends on how the system administrators have set them up. But this is how you access your uh, storage on your PC and then the files within that PC. Typically, these options here the first four or five are typically by default in your PC. Now let's say that uh, there is a specific folder that I'm working on, but I want this to show up all the time here on the left. So let's say I want the favorites to be showing up here on the left, or I want my music folder to show up on the left. You can right click on that folder and then choose to pin it to quick access. That will place it in there. And notice music now. Anytime we open File Explorer, it's going to display a link here for the music folder. So you can do that for any component or any common folders that you constantly use. There's also the option to drag that over there and uh, that. Now, working with folders, I find that most users don't fully understand working with files. Let's say I wanted to create a new folder here. If I click on New up here, 
I can choose to create a new shortcut or a new folder and a new bunch of other stuff here. But for now, I want to create just a new folder. So I click on new and then choose folder and then I have the name of the folder and then you hit enter. To move a file into this folder, I can do it a couple ways. Let's say I have this file right here and I want to move it over here. I can simply drag it and then it will put it in that folder. Drag and drop, it's great as long as you're precise in it. There's a danger in a drag and drop because sometimes you may drop a file in the wrong place. So the best thing to move files around is by simply selecting them. If there are more than one, then you can simply either select all of them or select just a few of them, or you can hold the control key and select random ones or you can click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and then select a few of them. And then at this point, notice that you can use these options up here. By the way, Microsoft in Windows 11 changed this, so you, we can cut these, and then we are going to move them somewhere else. So this is the safer way to move files around. Or you can also right click and then choose here the options. Notice this changed as well in Windows 11, these icons. It doesn't say cut anymore or copy unless you hold the mouse on it. Click on cut here and now I go back navigating to the top folder here or I can go to the left and use the navigation on the left. And then let's say I want to paste those files in here. I can either right click and choose the option to paste. Notice again the word is missing, but you have the icon here to paste, or you have the paste icon on the top. These may be very basic concepts, but it's really necessary to work effectively in the workplace. Now one of the needs that I also find the users are not very familiar with in any version of Windows is how to create a compressed file or a zip file as it's called. So let's say I have here this Word 2019 folder and it has a bunch of stuff in there. Now let's say I want to send that to somebody in a compressed uh, format because it has a lot of stuff in it. To create a zip folder or a zip file, all you have to do is right click on it, click on compress to zip file. Now the terminology here in Windows 11 has changed. So we click here on create a zip file. It's going to do its thing and it's actually putting all of these files including the folder and potentially subfolders into one single file for you to send away. Notice it says uh, it's a zip folder it has a zip little icon thingy here and that's what you'd need to send but you're sending one compressed package. Typically for large zip files it's best instead of emailing them to maybe share them either using OneDrive or Google Drive or some kind of cloud file sharing platform. Most systems are not going to deliver for emails that contain zip files for security reasons. Now, let's say that I received this file. Typically with a zip file, you also need to extract those files. Notice there's an option for extract all items in this folder or you can right click on it and choose to extract all and that's a necessary process for any zip files for you to do on your end. Obviously you need to do this only when you're completely sure from a, a safe sender. Notice it's going to by default extract it in the same folder that we had it however you can change it to a different folder you press extract and all those files at this point will be displayed in here. Notice it creates a new folder matching the zip folder and under that then there are the actual files. The context menus for the file explorer in Windows 11 have changed. Notice first the rounded corners, the visual look and feel and then these options have been kind of rearranged and the icons have changed. Notice here that the most commonly used functions don't contain the words anymore. Uh, more options, this will bring more of the old look and feel from Windows 10 and that's how it used to actually look.
Finally, as you're accessing files, in some cases there might be a need for you to uh, track down hidden files in your computer. There are certain places that the files are stored and you just need to make sure to kind of um, get to them or view them or do something with them. So, and one common area is, for example, if we go here under the users folder, we go under this account, my profile account, Notice that by default you see maybe 10 or 12 different folders in here. However, there are files and folders in there that are actually hidden by default. And uh, to view those files and folders, simply going here under View, we scroll down under Show, and then we choose here the Show Hidden Files or Unshow Hidden Files. And notice now, under App Data, you'll have this displayed. Thank you.